Hi to everyone at Kings North. I thought I would contribute by reading one of my favourite stories, Beware the Bears by Alan MacDonald and Gwyneth Williamson. When the three bears saw what Goldilocks had done to their little cottage, they were hopping mad. Their porridge eaten, chairs broken, beds bounced on, Go after her, find out where she lives, ordered Daddy Bear. Baby Bear jumped on his scooter and sped after Goldilocks. In no time at all he was back. She lives at the far side of the forest, panted Baby Bear. And what's more, she's just gone out again and left her door unlocked. Good, said Mummy Bear. What are we waiting for? Let's see how she likes having uninvited guests. Baby Bear led the way through the forest to Goldilocks Cottage. The door was unlocked, just as he had said. On the breakfast table were several open packets. This isn't porridge, sniffed Mummy Bear. Baby Bear read the labels, Wheatos, Munch Flakes and Puffo Pops. Sounds all right to me, said Daddy Bear. Pour away, Baby-o. These Wheatos are too sweet, said Daddy Bear. These munch flakes are too noisy, said Mummy Bear. But these puff and pops are just right, said Baby Bear, catapulting a spoonful towards Daddy Bear. A puff and pop hit Daddy Bear in the eye. He sent back a spoonful of Weetos. They splattered all over Mummy Bear's best blouse. Soon cereal was flying right left until the carpet and walls and ceilings were dripping with brown goo. Baby Bear turned on the radio. Let's dance, he squeaked. Mummy and Daddy, Bear tangoed on the table. This table's too slippery, said Daddy Bear. They did the cha-cha around the curtains. These curtains are too rippy, said Mummy Bear. But this sofa's just right, squeaked Baby Bear. So they all jumped on the sofa and did the bosun over until they went right through it. Next, three bears looked upstairs. There were lots of things to try in the bathroom. The shaving foam's too soapy, grumbled Daddy Bear. This toothpaste too minty, gargled Mummy Bear. But this bubble bath is just right, murmured Baby Bear from beneath a mountain of suds. All right, here we come, said Mummy Bear. Splash! They had spl a splashing time in the bath and... Once they were clean the, and the bar from a mess, off they went to the bedroom. These pyjamas are too tight, said Daddy Bear, bursting the buttons. This mattress is too lumpy, said Mummy Bear, bouncing up and down. But these pillows are just right, said Baby Bear. Just right for a pillow fight. Baby Bear biffed Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear whacked Daddy Bear. Pillows burst, filling the air with clouds of feathers, till suddenly Daddy Bear stopped. Listen, he said, I hear someone. Quietly, the three bears crept downstairs. Goldilocks was in the kitchen. Gleefully, Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear watched from behind the door. Goldilocks gasped when she saw cereal spattered all over the walls. <gasps> Her eyes grew large when she saw ripped curtains and the gigantic hole in the sofa. She whistled when she saw the bathroom flooded with water and decorated with shaving foam. <whistles> Next, Goldilocks went into the bedroom. She stared open mouth at the sea of feathers and the burst bed springs. Then suddenly the three bears jumped out from behind the door. Surprise! They all shouted. We thought we'd pay you a visit, added Mummy Bear. Goldilocks looked at them, then at the room. And to the bear's astonishment, she threw back her head and laughed and laughed until her hair shook like golden springs. But aren't you mad with what we've done to your house? asked Daddy Bear. My house? This isn't my house, giggled Goldilocks. But it must be, said Baby Bear. I saw you go in. Oh, that, said Goldilocks. The door was open, so I thought I'd have a nose round. I'm always sneaking to other people's houses. 
I only came back because I left my teddy behind. Then, if it's not your house, whose house is it? asked Daddy Bear. Oh, help! squeaked Baby Bear looking out of the window. Beware of the big bad wolf. <laughs>